Hello all, welcome to this session. In this session, I am going to answer software testing interview question 62. That is, what is functional testing? Let me answer. Functional testing is performed to verify the working of the application functionality. For example, if I take you to this sample application that is tutorialsninja.com slash demo, which is an e-commerce application. If I have to perform the functional testing, I can perform something like this, okay? So as part of functional testing, we verify the working of the application functionalities. For example, search functionality is one of the functionality of this e-commerce application. I have to verify whether this search functionality is working fine or not as part of functional test. How can I verify that? Here I'll type one valid product detail that is HP, okay, which is one of the product name and click on the search button. And if I'm getting this HP product in the search results, that means such functionality is working fine at a high level, okay? This is not the only one test case. We can have multiple uh, test cases uh, using which we can test the working of this such functionality. Similarly, if I take you to this login functionality, I can test the, okay, I can test this login functionality whether it is working fine or not as part of functional testing. So I'll give some credentials here. I'll give some valid credentials and click on login. The application functionality is working, right? We I have verified the login functionality of the application with valid credentials. Similarly, I can verify the login functionality with invalid credentials also. If I give some invalid credentials here, let's see if I give some invalid credentials and try to log in, the application should not allow me to log in. That means the application functionality is perfectly working fine. So verify the working of the application functionality is known as functional testing. As part of functional testing, we'll verify, okay? We'll verify the working of the application functionalities. It can be search functionality, it can be login functionality with various test cases, we'll verify the working of the application functionality. That is what is functional testing. So as part of functional testing guys, we perform testing or verify the working of the application functionalities according to the client specified requirements, okay? So in the beginning of the project, the client has given you the client specification during the project or in the beginning of the project, whatever the client specified requirements are there, according to that, the functionality of the application is working or not, we'll test as part of the functional testing. And also on the top of that, we'll also see whether the application functionality is working according to the user needs and expectations, okay? Uh, by using the application, whether the user needs and expectations are being met or not is also verified as part of the functional testing. And this functional testing can also be automated, guys. There are several automation tools available in the market depending on the type of the application. If the application is web application, we can use Selenium automation tool, okay? If the application is a mobile application, we can use APM automation tool. If the application is a desktop application, you can use UFT, which is elderly known as a QTP. Nowadays, it's called as UFT, okay? Or test complete, we can use. Different automation tools exist, guys, using which we can automate the functional testing, okay? So now, I'm going to list down the different types of testing which fall into this functional testing category. As you know, in software testing, there are a lot of different types of testing, right? A lot of testing types are there. So few of the testing types which fall into the functional testing, I'm going to list down here, okay? So what are the different testing types which fall into the functional testing? This is not the entire list, guys, okay? Only the few list so that you can understand, okay, which, which type of testing fall into the functional testing. I listed down here. Unit testing falls into the functional testing. Developer will perform this unit testing to see whether the that particular unit piece of code which cannot be broken further is working fine or not, okay? It's functioning properly or not, okay? As part of white box testing, unit testing is performed here. This falls into the functional testing. Similarly, integration testing, a group of logical units and all will be tested together. As you already know, developers will do that. This also is part of the functional testing. System testing, where software testers will perform the system testing where they will test the entire application as, an evolve, as a whole, as a complete thing. That is uh, functional testing. Here, basically, we'll check across the client specifications, okay? Whether the developed software is according to the client specified requirements or not, is working according to the client specified requirements, is system testing. More focus is on the client specification. Acceptance testing. Whether the developed software is meeting the user needs and expectations, okay? As part of acceptance testing, alpha testing, beta testing will be done. It is also called as user acceptance testing. Here also, we'll test the whether the application functionality is working according to the user needs and expectations. Hence, it also falls into the functional testing category. Smoke testing, sanity testing, regression testing, black box testing, white box testing, UI testing, API testing, and many other testing types fall into the functional testing category, guys, okay? So hope, guys, you got the answer what is functional testing in this session. So that's all for this session. In the next session, I'm going to answer another software testing interview question for you. Till then, see you. Bye-bye.